Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Mrs. Spell Sweet Treats and More. This is my YouTube channel and I am happy to see you today. It is such a good day and I, I welcome you, who, those of you who are new to me and those of you that have been following for a while, thank you for that. And all of those who are just scrolling, have at it. Just enjoy. Um, I hope you find something on Mrs. Bell's that you enjoy or you make or you, you know, you may have spins on things as well. I am grateful to be here and, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, for all different seasons, uh, I cook different things. Sometimes I cook hot uh, summertime things in the winter and most of us, you know, we make breakfast for dinner. You know, I like to do a spin and try to uh, change a little bit when I do a recipe. So I'm going to start, excuse me, <coughs> I'm going to start. I have my, um, I have flour, baking soda, and salt in here, and I've already added my pumpkin spice. Now for this, you can add cinnamon, you can add nutmeg, or you can leave them out all together. Since I have pumpkin spice, when I have a spice, I try to use up that spice. Um, back in the day, the spices would stay on the shelf uh, until the next year and the next year. I try to use mine up. You know, back in the day, stuff used to last. I'm getting off point here. But remember when you could go to the store, those of us who are older, we would get bread from the store. The bread didn't go bad in a day or two days. We'd be eating on that bread and then we had to put it in the bread box if you had it. If you didn't, you just put it in the fridge. If you didn't, you just twist it and put it up. But it didn't go bad in a day or two. So food is very different now. I know that there's, you know, elements being added to it and ingredients and things like that. But I like to use my, I know that has nothing to do with spices, but just so you know, um, I'm going, I already have my flour and I'm going to set this aside. And I have my butter here. I'm going to beat the butter with the brown sugar. The recipe, you can have dark or light brown sugar. I use the sugar that I have the dark brown sugar has more molasses, so it's dark brown. Uh, I'm using light brown because that's what I have on the shelf. And I'm gonna beat this together. I'm gonna add my eggs one at a time. And the eggs, sometimes they go one at a time. Sometimes they wanna go as a group. I'm gonna add them and I'm gonna scrape down and I will be back. All right, I'm going to add in my, I'm adding sour cream, and I'm adding about a third of a cup, loosely measuring. And to that, I'm adding my bananas. And I like a little, uh, uh, they're not smooth, they're kind of lumpy. It smells so good. And then, I'm going to add my vanilla. scrape it down. Okay, now I'm going to stir in my dry ingredients. I'm actually going to, my plan is to not wear it. I'm going to just put my nuts in. I have walnuts and pecans. I 
ahead and click on the link for the measurements. Get down to the bottom and I'll be right back. So I'm going to start adding it to my mini pants. Smells so good. Of course, I am partial. So I'm going to finish pouring in sand and I'll be right back. Well, I'm back. And I've got my little minis ready. I'm going to add some chocolate. I have uh, Whole House Chunks. Semi-sweet. Um, mm. Semi-sweet ch chocolate chip chunks. And I'm just adding it. Wow. These are delicious. I could eat these chocolate chip chunks by themselves. Have you ever added them to your ice cream or to your yogurt? They are delicious. I use the chocolate chip um, and the homemade granola, all of that I add. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven and we'll be back. Well, here's our pecan bread. And here are, my, are many of those. I've made, I ended up making four. They make about two uh, regular size loaves um, if they, you don't want them real, real high. But this, I just wanted you to see. You can see that texture. How amazing. Together, we can do this. You have a good one. I hope you get to try it. And I hope you take care of yourself. Have a good one. Bye-bye.